today we are going to see uh, deep research charts that is how to do yearly calculation using k values and an important operation taking place in industry that is flash operations and the calculation associated with that we will take one example each for both deep research charts users and flash calculations using deep research charts uh, we know that you know uh, a vapor liquid equilibrium relation given by raoult's law or modified raoult's law can be converted into ki is equal to yi by xi where this ki is nothing but the volatility which relates the mole fraction of uh, component i in vapor phase to that of mole fraction of component i in liquid phase when you put it as a raoult's law that is yip equals to xi pi z or modified raoult's law yip is equal to xi gamma I pi z this is what we get as ki so if i replace this ki with yi by xi and if i simplify this it becomes raoult's law and this becomes modified raoult's law so this ki is substituted here so yi by xi is pi z by p or y by xi is gamma i p i z by p. Now, you know, uh, this forms the basis for VLE calculation using k values. Now, rather than finding out vapor pressures or, you know, uh, system pressures, uh, you know, separately, if I have uh, the value k i with me, I can relate y with x. That is, y i can be written as k i into x i. So, if I know x i, I can calculate y i. Or if I know x, if I know y i, I can calculate x i by just manipulating this relationship. So suppose I have, you know, uh, you know, uh, knowns, known x. So in that case, my y I are unknowns. So what I can do is I can write y i is equal to k i x i and then make summation of k i x i equals to 1. So this is how I can calculate any calculations wherein I know x. And if I know y, I can calculate y i by k i equals to 1. So, say for example, I am using bubble p calculations where I know uh, x and t. So, knowing x and t, if I have some hold of k, I will put that here, that is k into x and I will find out the summation. If that is 1, my answer is there. This is a technique which, you know, which reduces your mathematical calculations by number of times. So, uh, you know, this was being done for hydrocarbons, wherein, you know, uh, in particular in hydrocarbon industries, the mixtures contains, you know, more than five, six, seven components. And in earlier days, the, you know, uh, computational tools were limited, their capacities were limited. And hence, what people did is that they converted, you know, their yi by xi, that is ki relationship as a function of temperature pressure into a monograph that is a plot that is a graph giving you know k values as a function of p and t which can be seen as this as we can see here this axis gives you pressure and this gives you temperature so suppose my mixture contains methane ethane and propane say for example and i want to find out the value of k at any given temperature and pressure so what i need to do is suppose my temperature is 10 degree, you know, unit, maybe Fahrenheit, maybe, you know, some other unit. So, that is, say, for example, 10 and my pressure is 1 atmosphere. What I need to do is I need to connect this 4.7 to 10 and wherever it cuts methane, ethane and propane, I just need to note down the values. This becomes my K value. So, I got K1, K2 and K3. Suppose I know temperature and I know, sorry, if, if I know pressure and I know liquid phase mole fraction, that is P and X, and I need to find out T and Y. So, what I need to do is, I know P and X, I use this plot from this P, I connect to any specific, init any initial gas of a temperature, that is 10, say for example, so 14.7 and 10, so I know K1, K2, K3, I substitute that K1, K2, K3 here, I already know X1, X2, X3, if that summation is 1, the temperature which I have found out here is correct. Otherwise, I have to go for the next set of calculation by taking, connecting 14.7 to another temperature. Same way, if I have T and I would need to find out T, I can, you know, join, you know, line from T to different pressures. Now, if I have vapor phase mole fraction, what I need to do is my calculation, you know, equation changes. But the procedure remains same. But I, now, I need to just make summation via by k equal to 1. 
so deep pressure charts makes our you know calculation very fast because it doesn't involve so much of mathematics into it there are no iterations it, it is only a kind of trial and error method and if you look at these expressions your trial can also be reduced by you know particularly uh, following a pattern that is if summation k x i is 1 you have to you know draw a line so that uh, you know uh, suppose your summation k x i is greater than 1 you have to draw your line in such a way that k value decreases and hence the summation decreases exactly opposite happens here if your summation is greater than 1 you have to increase the k value so if, if you follow the equations properly you will be able to get the proper direction for making your next iteration and within two or three iterations maybe four you'll get the answers naturally the answers would not be very accurate but since this makes a kind of much easier method this is widely accept this was widely accepted in hydrocarbon industry so uh, let's take a kind of example wherein we have a mixture of methane ethane and propane at some temperature which is there with us that is 15 degree Fahrenheit and we need to find out dew point pressure and bubble point pressure. So the temperature is known to us. We know the percentages of methane, ethane, propane. So this you know uh, when we say dew point pressure that means we we know the uh, vapor phase mole fraction. So this is y1, y2 and y3. Temperature is known. Our job is to find out P. When we want to find out bubble point pressure we consider this overall composition as liquid and we find out P and Y. Let's, let's take up the you know uh, example here. Our temperature is 50 Fahrenheit. So what we do is we initially uh, take up a gas and we connect 50 Fahrenheit to some temperature. Say for example some some pressure. Say for example 100. Now suppose we are doing you know uh, a bubble P calculations. Right? We find out. We find out this summation and if this is equal to 1 uh, we are true if we are going for dew point pressure this is what we are going to do so let us say that we have taken this we, we not k1 k2 k3 we draw another line we not k1 k2 k3 we draw third line we draw k1 k2 k3 so we have got three values of k1 k2 k3 as you uh, know associated to one line second line third line this can be written here see suppose i have got y 0.2, point, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.7. My first pressure is 100. Corresponding k values are 20, 3.25, and 0.92. And I will calculate y by xi. As we can see, that the summation is not equal to 1. So I will have to you know, increase the pressure so that the k value decreases. So I have increased the pressure and made it to 150. So at 150, the values are this. But my you know, summation has gone beyond 1. Isn't it? So now I have to reduce the pressure. So I make it to 126. And at 126, you can see that this is fortunately exactly equal to 1. But that's sometimes it is 0.98, sometimes it is 1.01. But this can be accepted. So this is how by just trial and error, you can find out the value of, you know, uh, pressure. Now suppose I am doing it for bubble P. What I would do is I will consider this as X. K values would remain this. And I will find out KIX. So if the summation k x i is 1, my answer has come. In place of, you know, uh, temperature, suppose we know the pressure, that is 20, uh, you know, uh, PSI pressure is fixed. Then we draw the line in this direction and we find out temperature. This calculation base remains same. So bubble P, bubble T, duty, duty, all the four are, are going to be calculated with the same set of principle. That is, if I am finding out x, Summation y i by k i should be 1. If I am finding out y, summation k i x i should be 1. Right? Either pressure would be fixed or temperature would be fixed. Whatever is fixed, put a line, put a dot there and try to draw some lines correspondingly to find out the other variable. So this makes your all the calculations bubble p, bubble t, du p, du t very simple without any you know mathematical iterations. It will be only kind of trial. Now let's say we, we we have flash calculation, which is a very important part in you know, uh, uh, you know industry. We'll just uh, introduce flash calculation and we'll talk about its calculation when we meet for the next time. That is, uh, flash calculation is performed wherein you know you have high volatile components present in your mixture, 
before you send that mixture to distillation column you know we pass it through a flash you know uh, kind of separator wherein all the volatile components are accumulated in vapor and a mixture containing less volatile component then goes to distillation column this you know takes off a load from distillation column because otherwise the delta t across the column would be so high that it eventually ends up in a very energy inefficient distillation system so whenever you have a very high number of volatile components we put up a flash column before distillation column and it, it removes all the volatile components now if we carry out metal balance uh, for this uh, we will get some equations but before that generally what happens in flash is that you have a stream at some pressure you reduce the pressure and make it to some pressure p so that it gets converted into a two phase system vapor and liquid only requirement here is that the pressure after the reduction should be in between bubble point and dew point corresponding to this z it is this pressure should be in between bubble point corresponding to this overall coefficient uh, uh, composition and dew point corresponding to this overall composition if it is not this mixture will not be in two phase system which will not our which will not serve our purpose either it will be completely vaporized or it will be completely liquid you want to remain in vapor liquid phase and hence this pressure has to be in between bubble point and dew point corresponding to this z now uh, if we write metal balance equations, the metal balance equations are, you know, uh, this wherein you have, you know, F into Z is equal to L into X plus V into Y, which is this, and overall metal balance is F is equal to L plus V. We also know that for equilibrium, YI should be equal to KIXI. When we use this two equation and substitute that here and make some mathematical manipulation, we get, you know, more fraction X as this. And since we know y is equal to kxi, y would become this. So this becomes, you know, our basic equations. Where in what we need generally, what we have with us is temperature here, pressure here, heat, and z. These are the things which are known to us. And what is generally required is we need to find out this v, which is fraction vaporized, and we need to find out y and x. Since we know, if we know v and we know f, we can find out f, and uh, our you know requirement would be done like so if if we know initial temperature pressure f and z we should be in a position to find out uh, you know y l and x given v so now we know that summation y is equal to 1 summation x i equals to 1 and if we take the difference of that two it becomes summation y i minus summation x i which is 0 if i take that what i get is this equation that is z i into k i minus 1 over 1 plus v by f k minus 1 equals to 0. If you look here, if I know temperature and pressure, I know k values. So, k1, k2, k3, k4 of the mixture are known. I know z1, z2, z3. I know f. Only unknown in this equation is v, that is fraction which is going into vapor. So, when I solve this equation by some numerical method, I get the value of v. Once we get the value of v, here, since I know z1, z2, z3, I know F, I know V, I know K1, K2, K3, I will be in a position to find out X1, X2, X3 or whatever number of components are present. And once I know X1, X2, X3, Xn and find out Y1, Y2, Y3 and since I know V, I can calculate L. So this is how we can base this calculation. So in next video, we'll, we are going to see how do we perform flash calculation using deep stress chart. However, you can use any numerical method if you know how to find out k other than deep research chart. You have to just solve this equation for v and you get the answer.